Hi everybody, uh, this is uh, Code Piece again and I'm running the Mummy Demastered Out of Bounds. Um, so this is a, it's, it's a fun run, uh, it's a little bit different from regular any percent because we actually get to skip the final boss fight, uh, which is like three minute boss fight. So uh, the difference between their two runs is um, pretty much that, that's the only really major difference between any percent and out of bounds uh, hundred percent out of bounds you get a little bit more speed tech in there with a lot of different clips but uh yeah so uh, let's get this started I am uh, just gonna select the slot one on a fresh game and uh, we will start in five four three two one Right, so the introduction to this game, uh, it's kind of uh, silly, but we uh, we either have to escape or just kill ourselves. Uh, the fastest way to get to the dialogue cutscene is to just kill ourselves, so that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> So this is um, Princess Amakara. She's basically the bad dude. Um, we pretty much have to find her and uh, get the uh, magic, <laughs> like a magic relic from her. So there we just, uh, just killed herself because it's faster than exiting the... <clears throat> the actual going back up the rope where you start up so killing ourselves quickly is a lot faster than that and we just get to wait through this nice you know 35 40 second cutscene Right. So you're gonna see a lot of rolling early game because uh, it helps us save frames. There's gonna be strategic rolling like off of ledges and between uh, transition rooms. Right there, if you roll on the bottom floor, you can actually get this frame perfect. Um, Kind of like roll skip where before the uh, before it pauses, you just get a little bit further. There's a lot of cool platforming in this run, and we're gonna come up on a swag jump that I missed, but it allows us to barely clip <clears throat> a ledge, and um, as long as your kind of hitbox for your feet are somewhere between the top and the bottom of the ledge, you can jump. So it's uh, some really cool tech in this run with just platforming. Um, it's probably one of the bigger reasons why I love this game so much because of the uh, platforming. Just like that, you can see like your cloud stepping through the ledges. That's some good RNG. We want a grenade before we exit. 
And we, we need two grenades total, so... Little damage boost here. What you just saw is that first roll, I did a roll boost. So, I'm going to try to go for a roll boost. I did it right there on that first roll too, on certain spots. The difference between a roll boost and just a regular roll is a roll boost is frame perfect and has to be done at the very edge of a kind of a the lip of a, a platform and it just kind of slingshots you forward just a little bit of a faster progression. Nice. It's good RNG right there. So uh, the crickets are not RNG, they're steady cycles, but rats, they are heavy RNG, um, kind of a pain in the butt in a lot of the rooms. Just like that, but we uh, were able to kill that rat. Crows are also somewhat RNG, um, depending on your kind of placement. Your character placement. So you can manipulate the crows and the bats. I'm um, sorry, not the bats, but we just did a little kind of cutscene skip where we rolled out of there before we had to uh, activate uh, like a dialogue script and exit with by pressing B to exit. So able to roll out of there and uh, kind of. It's kind of a nice skip for RTA purposes. Um, we do go by in-game time in this uh, in this run on the leaderboard, so gives uh, some console uh, a little bit of time to not have to be able to run the game and not have to deal with uh, hardware issues. That was pretty smooth. About to pick up our first weapon belt. So it just increases your inventory um, ammunition. Here we come up to our kind of a big first platform skip right here. You'll see how you can just trigger the hitbox from the lower platform. There is pretty much... Every room has been pretty well optimized in this game. Uh, I've, there's been a few runners. I've done a, a, most of the optimization myself. But uh, a lot of the early tricks were found by earlier runners. Like... Um, mm. Axmos, he found this skip right here, I believe, where it's our first biggest skip of the run. We damage boost up there with the Firefly, and it allows us to skip the first Spider Boss and get Repel Gear. I'm actually only 9 seconds behind my PV, which is pretty nice. This hit right there is very finicky. Nailed it. And now since we got repel gear, we'll be able to exit down here. And uh, we skip the Black Widow boss. So pretty cool stuff. Just a simple damage boost. Uh, there's RNG for you. Oh man. All right, that was nice. I totally butchered that. All right, that was actually pretty smooth. I actually, um, I actually like the <laughs> the 
the RNG in this game because it makes makes the run different. Oh my gosh, that was really close. Oh, uh, rolled right under that rat right there. And I actually like to call it rat NG because the rats are heavily influenced with the RNG. Just like that. It's all about placement and stuff and you have to switch up your strats constantly. And I'm just going to gather two more weapon belts before we head head down. Nice, that was clean. There are a few. Uh, there's a few early water rooms in this 80% uh, run, and they are very dreadful. Um, water slows you down tremendously, and eventually we'll be able to get iron boots to be able to float to the bottom of water. The water. little elevator platform skip. I might have messed it up. But no, nah, it actually worked out in my favor. Cycle wise. Some uh, strategic damage boost coming up. U utilizing your iframes. There are spontaneous zombies. Like that one coming out of the ground right there. They're, uh, it's kind of RNG. Um, they'll just shoot out of the ground and be able to attack you immediately. It's very interesting. Try to get a roll boost right here. We didn't get it. So I try to um, set the roll boost on taller ledges so you can fall faster. Pretty good split. And rip rolling. Because now we have our speed boots. So the faster you are on the ground, the more momentum you pick up. Uh, this is when the game gets highly optimized. There's a little bit of a manipulation here, RG manipulation I had here. Let's see if I get it. Uh, I did, barely. So I did a zigzag to kind of sacrifice top speed for that spider um, acid shots. And I was able to get the fast, the fast room skip. Missed that jump. It's actually kind of, it's a frame perfect jump. We're going to do a little more manipulation here by rolling and starting your sprint all over again. So your that spider drops. Perfect. And these th these two rooms are really big to, to get fast cycles in. Especially, uh, especially in the any percent run early game. I mean, you'll lose a lot of time when you... Um, perfect. 20. You want to about 20... To 30 HP. You don't want to go under 15 because you want to strategically hit the Grasshopper, which does 15 damage. And we're going to save here and we're coming up on the biggest skip in the run. Uh, recently found, I'm um, not recently, but um, when this skip was found by Axmos, it allowed us to skip the dragon. If you ever play this casually, the dragon is just insanely hard especially with like your health management as well as like ammo management and his patterns are very hard to predict okay oops so just kind of getting back on track had a little brain fart we're gonna take damage boost oh man that's not good perfect okay so we are setting up a strategic damage boost by killing ourselves our original clone is gonna have all of our inventory so we're gonna come out here we're gonna kill our original clone there we go we pick up our inventory and now we set the other clone up high for the strategic damage boost come this way a little bit more right there 
Perfect. That is amazing manipulation. Uh, probably perfect. That that trick is very tough. It is a run killer sometimes, depending on uh, how the uh, clone um, properly functions with placement. And he was set. He set us up perfectly there. So some more um, highly optimized rooms with speed. Oh, jumped a little too early there. I knew it. Great soundtrack. We're gonna try to get the fast skip here. If you mess up on this room, oh, it's brutal because you're just swimming in the water. It's very painful. That was nice, very nice. Strategic damage <laughs> boost that I messed up. There we go. Third try. We lost a little time there, but we should be okay. Uh, we are two seconds behind PB right now. It's pretty nice. So we got high jump. So now we can make... Now we can jump higher, duh. So uh, this is non-linear, so it's nice to kind of cheese the game with the damage boost and the uh, the manipulation. Um, the any percent run is a lot of fun. Coming up on some slick platforming right here, around there. Playing pretty well right now. Oops. That little bugger is very hard to kill. Uh, so we just uh, get gained C4. With C4 we're able to um, blow up metal doors now instead of wood doors. Try to get this swag speed jump right here. Nope, we didn't. Late inputs. But you can coast through this room if done correctly without stopping. There's a metal door. And we're coming up on one of the kind of more frame perfect skips in the uh, run. It's uh, There's a little bit of manipulation as well with um, speed. So we're going to roll, start from scratch. And we got a first try. Awesome. So happy. So that trick is very tough. Doesn't seem tough, but the jump is almost frame perfect. Um, if, if we kill the spider boss early game, you're able to shimmy from the ceilings. And since we don't have that artifact, we have to, you know, get past it other ways. So that's why we, uh, that's why we set that, uh, kind of, uh, speed strats up. I think, we, oh yeah, we've got to get, uh, ammo here. And we're coming up on our first boss, actually. It would technically be the third boss of the run, but we're not going to cheese him. Oh, did I say we're not going to cheese this boss? I lied. So the first three bosses, first one we skip with a damage boost, second one we skip with a damage boost in our, um, excuse me, with a, in setting up a manipulation with your dead clones. And the third one, we are going to stand off screen and hit, get his hitbox from off, uh, from over here. If you fall off this ledge, it um, triggers the kind of boss cutscene and you got to fight fight the actual boss and here I'm gonna switch to keyboard because we are gonna weapon swap glitch this is something that I found I took this from you know uh, Cuphead um, watching those Cuphead runs with uh, early Cuphead with TMR and 
SPD Wolf, I I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe you can utilize this in this game. Normally, the harpoon has a cooldown in its shots, so by using the weapon slop glitch, we're able to just spam harpoon as well as your SMG, and it just does massive DPS. Coming up on a little skip right here. This is actually pretty tricky platforming. And we nailed it, baby. And we're gonna go back the other way. Nice. Nice. This jump right there is very tough. One of the harder platforming jumps in the run. We're gonna try an air walk. We got it. Sweet. Playing pretty well right now. And we're coming up on the scariest part of the run. Temple. Or no, it's like clock tower, not a temple. We're gonna head back here, get this weapon belt. Nice. Nice. Playing really well right now. Nice. Elevator skip. Got it. The longest room in the game that you cannot skip this room. It's a very it's a big shame. Coming up on a tricky jump right here. So we're going to pick up this weapon belt and we're going to stack your ammo. Just like that. And try to hit this jump. It's pretty tough. Got it. First try. Some sweet air walking. Platforming. And we're coming up on one more jump. That's very tough. It's all about speed here. We got it. Sweet. And no uh, RNG crows to pop out of the wall and mess it up. Ouch. So these guys do a lot of damage. Everybody in the clock tower just does a lot of damage. So it's for how this is going, I'm very happy. We are going to save for the first real boss fight. Uh, definitely going to implement this at GDQ as well because of scare fight is very tough. Super Metroid map, yes. Exactly. And this boss fight is very, very tough. So we're gonna take a damage uh, hit here. Your iframes actually last long enough for you not to take another hit, which is weird because visually we are getting melted by his laser somehow. 
great start there. 50 ammo. That's what we want. I'm going to be a little risky, strats. Jump down here. Just burn. Oh my gosh. That's how fast a harpoon shoots normally. Man, that was tough. So happy. I didn't die. <laughs> I could have could have done a little bit faster, but I messed up my platforming. Um And now we just picked up a artifact that allows us to get transverse water. So we are able to, I, I consider it like iron boots uh, from Ocarina of Time. Allows us to sink to the bottom of the water. We are not getting any HP drops, so I keep missing them. Which is not good. But we're just going to go with the flow. Probably gonna take a. Hmm. I think we should be alright on HP. The tombs do so much damage, so it's good that we didn't take a single hit from the tombs, the catacombs. So now we are actually going to pick up Phase Dash, which is allows us to implement Out of Bounds. This is the only difference between this run and the regular any percent. We can phase through walls like that. Perfect. Saves a little time. I'm going to try and do a huge Phase Dash super skip. Let's try to get it. I hope I get it. Oh, so close. I was like one, I don't even know, one pixel off there. It allows us to super dash and, whoop. Oh, no. Um, I'm going to play it safe. I, I don't want to be on the ground at all because of those catacombs. I am so low on HP. This is terrifying right now. All right, cool. We are safe. Actually, not safe yet, um, but getting pretty close. I'm gonna. S yes, that's what I needed. 40 HP. So the big, the big uh, HP drops are 20, and the little ones are five. So ain't got ain't got time for the little drops. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm going to play it smart right here. I hope so. Oh my gosh, the uh, the guys that throw the pickaxes, um, they do 50, 45 to 50 damage. So if we took one hit there, we would have been dead. We're saving here because we are coming up on the final boss skip. 
Um, so after we skip the final boss, we just have to kill ourselves, and that'll be time. There we go. One jump, two jump. One, two. Nice, we got it. Sweet. So we were able to go out of bounds and then make it through that j door transition. And we just need to kill ourselves, so. Um, wow. <laughs> I can't even uh, hit a boulder to save my life. Oh my gosh, maybe, oh, oh, <laughs> so, uh, there we go, one more hit, there we go, time, and that is the mummy demastered, um, so we have this, like, credits that, um, we're underestimate, because I said 35 minutes because the credits um, are really cool. I do like the credits uh, and the music, but it also shows your in-game time at the very end of the credits. So, um... GG, thanks for running. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit late here. Where is it? 30.08. Sweet. That, that's great. We are, uh, we are a minute plus one minute and 15 seconds on my PB. So I'm um, pretty happy with that run. Yeah. So just so everyone knows, um, what just happened was like the greatest history moment in the history of like slowest marathons. Because I in the running room said, um, oh yeah, by the way, technically, without doing an intermissions, I have like a one minute slot open. And well, uh, guess who has a two minute meme run coming up? <laughs> <laughs> nice. No lit ice. No lit ice. I actually said that they have a two minute kind of like meme category. And, you know, why is it an intermission for like 20 minutes when we can actually have like a little bit of a short run? So we'll get you Lego Incredibles again as a, a cur uh, I believe it's, yeah, arcade percent free, but it's going to be a super short run just to fill the gap until Marvel Spider Man. And then, uh,. We'll take it from there. Do you um do you want this to run out? Um, it's like about two or three minutes long. The credits. Two or three minutes. Let me check. They're going credits as well. Oh, we can let we can let that run. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, there are a lot of really cool special things. Uh, so this is WayForward. They are uh they did Shantae and the Pirates Curse. Um, they've done a lot of other games. I mean, they've done all the Shantae games, but WayForward um. They put this game out here kind of as a gimmick on the whole Tom Cruise mummy movie and uh, the game is amazing. Um, if you like Metroidvanias, the platforming is super like rewarding in a way where when you hit something, um, it, it just feels good. Uh, so some of the sh shout outs, Tom Happ right there. From uh, Axiom Verge, Deer Force, obviously, Game Sun Quick. Uh, this run is actually going to be showcased uh, Tuesday morning at in Orlando at Game Sun Quick. Awesome Game Sun Quick, and I'm very happy to uh, kind of start the uh, whole um, de rusting and get yeah, Tom Cruise, right? Yeah, Tom Cruise had a really bad movie. Um, with the mummy and the this game was based off of that kind of yeah go check out that gdq run <laughs> yeah it's gonna awesome. it's gonna be a lot of fun i'll be on the big screen in front of all the people so uh there's gonna be a lot of nerves but i'm excited to showcase this exact run for gdq it'll be my first time at a gdq event and yeah thanks for uh thanks georgie for uh getting this into the uh the cycle tonight i know uh you and slow and right right you they yeah. you guys do a really good job at you know putting these events oh, we on do we do it because we love it <laughs> uh i really like the how how the layout and 
everything has come. Oh, you like the layouts? Yeah, I really like it. I tried, uh, my <laughs> I tried my best. So total time, 27 minutes in game time. Uh, so uh, there it is. That's 80% out of bounds. All right, GG, everybody. And until uh, next time.